Hello to you, everybody, on this Thursday, and welcome to the Midday. I'm Melanie Lawson, and we want to update you on a lot of news happening right now, beginning with those jaw-dropping unemployment numbers. A record 3.2 million Americans filed for unemployment this week, that is amid the coronavirus uh, crisis. Now, to put that in some kind of perspective, that would be as if the entire cities of Houston and Dallas put together we're all out of jobs. Now, by comparison, the highest number ever before this was 695,000 claims. That was in one week back in 1982. Now, a reminder, this is only the people who've successfully been able to file for unemployment. Here in Texas and across the country, many state systems have been crashing. They are unable to keep up with the load of people trying to start the process. The Texas Workforce Commission says they are adding 300 call takers this week just to try to match that unbelievable demand. They say call volume went up from 3,000 calls a day to 30,000 recently. So, wow. If you've been trying, try again. They are going to be adding more people. Well, here's an, another amazing uh, statement. A, unite, a unanimous vote in the Senate overnight for an economic bailout worth more than $2 trillion. That is the largest ever for the country. As part of the bill, if you earn $75,000 or less a year, you'll receive a $1,200 check, as well as $500 per child. Now, those earning up to $99,000 will receive a smaller check. Those checks go out on April the 6th, and you could get your money even faster using direct deposit. The government will use the bank account information you have already given to the IRS when you, pass, when you uh, file your taxes. Well, the first drive through COVID-19 uh, testing site in Fort Bend County is now open. It's at the Oak Bend Medical Group. County Judge KP George explains why that spot was chosen. One of the best things we do in Fort Bend County is we are very good with private-public partnership because it is so easy. Oakland Medical Center is an expert in what they do, and county is many times not. So that means it is common sense for us to partner with Oakland Medical Center or other medical uh, agencies in this area. Okay, so how do you get tested? Well, here's what we know. You have to be showing some symptoms of coronavirus, and you'll need to visit the website uh, to check for the website for corona.com. That's what you want to check for, and take a symptoms test. What they are looking for are people who have a fever, a cough, 65 years or older, or a health professional. Those people will get priority for the test. If you pass through that stage, then you'll have a virtual visit with a doctor who will clear you to come out to the testing site and by the way this is not free it will be paid for through your insurance or if you don't have insurance you'll need to pay hundred and forty dollars they do accept credit and debit cards but again you want to make sure you go through all of those steps first uh, before you head out there otherwise you will not be tested well, Tufts University in Massachusetts is changing up graduation in the wake of the pandemic. Earlier today, officials announced that university will hold its first virtual commencement ceremony on May the 17th. They are now asking graduates, their families and alumni to share their ideas for the event online. And teachers, if you're looking for a job, Clear Creek ISD is hosting a virtual teacher job fair. You can start applying online for current job openings for next school year. That's the 2021 season. Then you can upload a two minute video with your profile. Applications and videos have to be submitted by April the 4th, and you can apply by visiting ccisd.net slash job fair. Well, the CEO of Texas Roadhouse is reportedly foregoing his salary to pay employees who are still working to feed customers. In a report by MarketWatch, uh, W. Kent Taylor agreed to forego his base salary and bonus between March the 18th and January the 7th of next year to make sure his workers are able to get their checks. And another cancellation in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, Comic Palooza. Uh, event coordinators say they looked at venue availability for later dates and considered different locations. They even discussed a modified show, but ultimately they say they just simply could not avoid having to cancel the show. It, well, they know how popular it is. So they'd say they are now turning their attention to creating a superior Comic Palooza fan experience that will be coming up in 2021. So unfortunately, no Comic Palooza this year.
Well, rocket star Russell Westbrook is receiving praise for helping families who are struggling financially during this pandemic. He has teamed up with the mayor of his hometown in Los Angeles. There you see him talking to Robin Roberts on GMA. He is raising millions of dollars for a fund which will help families who are out of work. He talked about that effort with Robin this morning on GMA. I'm trying to find ways and more ways to really give people hope, confidence, um, a sense of swagger to themselves that they can do and, and, and mm -hmm. put their money to do anything in the world they want to do. Uh, I know. Right now, so L.A. has the most COVID-19 cases in California. We spoke with his wife, Nina, about life in the Westbrook household during the stay-at-home orders. You can hear how that family is tackling boredom and social distancing right now on ABC13.com. Well, today was supposed to be opening day for the Astros and the rest of the league, but the sport had to delay the season because of the coronavirus. The Astros released this video letting everybody know that baseball will be back and they can't wait to see their fans. The commissioner of baseball telling ESPN the league is exploring options for double headers to play as many games as possible. <coughs> One thing is clear, like after 9-11, the return of baseball will mark an important moment for the nation. It's an honor uh, for, for our sport to be regarded in a way that, that, that um, we have been part of our country coming back from some horrific events. And, and we hope uh, that we can play a similar role with respect to this one. And you can still celebrate opening day from home because every hour the Astros are doing a giveaway on Twitter. Now you have a chance to win all kinds of cool things like free Whataburgers for a year or season's tickets. Wow. Astros pitcher Justin Verlander is taking in opening day at home by watching a blast from the past. He posted this photo on Instagram saying, quote, forcing the family to watch my 2007 no hitter. You sit right here and watch it and you'll like it, he says. I think a lot of us would like it. Well, Waffle House has now closed 420 of its locations in the U.S. due to the coronavirus pandemic, and that includes several here in the Houston area. But more than 1,500 locations are still open, so uh, if you got a hankering for some waffles, you can at least pick them up there. This morning, the CEO of Waffle House told the ABC station in Atlanta that if revenue falls below 90 percent, they may need to close all of their locations. 40,000 people work at Waffle Houses nationwide. And before we go, we want to send out some birthday wishes to a very special ABC 13 viewer. This is Mr. Ira Scott. Oh, Mr. Ira Scott, I love him. He was my neighbor for many years, and he is 103 today. Mr. Scott was born in Willis and spent most of his life educating kids at HISD, both as a teacher and a principal. He also started the first Boy Scout troop in Houston's Fifth Ward many years ago. And by the way, can I mention just how dapper he looks on his birthday? Mr. Scott is one of the nicest people on the planet, also one of the funniest, and uh, we really wish him a happy 103rd birthday. And we wish you a good day, even uh, under our stay-at-home orders. We will be here all of the time whenever you need uh, the latest news on ABC13.com and our news app. Have a good Thursday, everybody. We'll see you later.